Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Uh, today we're going to try The Beat Goes On. Okay, that's that cool bass uh, part to, to the song that runs through uh, most of it. Uh, what you got here, I'm going to go to the 4th string 3rd fret, 4th string 1st fret, 5th string 3rd fret. So, all quarter notes. Then you're going to go back to the fourth string and do the first fret to the third fret, but they're eighth notes. Okay, I'm palm muting too. Uh, palm muting is just, you know, laying across the strings. You just got to move your hand back and forth. I'm sitting right on the strings. That's too much of a palm mute. That's a cool sound. That's off the guitar. Much. Okay, so anyway, so what we got is the fourth string, third fret, first fret, fifth string, third fret, fourth string, one to three, like that. Then you go back to the fourth string, first fret, hit it twice, then back to the fifth string, third fret once, back to the fifth string, uh, sorry, the fourth string, first fret once. So that last part is. So on the fourth string it's one, one, fifth string third, fourth string one. So the whole thing, it's just two measures, is just like that. And that's all you need for that part. Uh, the song is really cool. It's got one chord for the whole song. Uh, because of the key we're in, um, it, uh, it tends to be a hard chord, but <laughs> I'm going to show you how to, with a capo, make it even easier. All right, so uh, the chord that they play in the song, they borrow the whole first fret, third string, second fret, fifth string, third fret. That's an F7. And uh, if you want to play chords, like uh, what you can do is go back and forth between the bass and the chords in the song, uh, or the chord, sorry, not chords. And uh, your strum would be down, 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 down. So it's like. So you can go back and forth between Okay, now here's an easier way to play an F7 sounds cool with the song It's like a C shape up at the sixth fret. So your second string uh, Sixth fret your fourth string seventh fret your fifth string eighth fret your third string eighth fret Make sure you mute the outside string somehow my thumb is going to do it here my third finger is also in the action there, so the sixth string gets killed. You just lean over a little bit this way, your first string will get uh, muted as well. So you can do the same strum. So you could use either of those F7 chords will get you the song. And that's really all you need for the song is just a strumming pattern and, and of course that cool bass line that you can play. Now, uh, let's see, where's my capo? Sorry. Alright, so if you wanted to, uh, want to make it really easy, put a capo at the first fret for you beginners, and now your bass line is... So that's the fourth string, second fret to open. Fifth string, second fret, and then the fourth string open to the second fret. So it's then it's fourth string open, open, fifth string, second fret, back to the open fourth string. So and again. So that becomes uh even easier and then this is why I did it this way is you could do the E7 like this the uh, third string first fret the fifth string second fret and again I'm going down down and 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 down
couple different ways you can play a Sonny and Cher classic. All right, uh, somebody actually asked for that one, so <laughs> if you wonder sometimes why I do these things, someone, my brother-in-law actually asked for that, so Dan, that's for you. All right, thanks for watching. Hey, hit the like button. Why don't you hit the like button? Please subscribe, and thanks for watching. Play more guitar.